I, I started thinking about all, all of the people that I know uh, that, I've, that I have a relationship and history with. <laughs> and people don't know them like I know them. You know, I mean, Gwyneth Paltrow, who's uh, one of my early guests, will be when this comes out. Um, you know, I've known her since she was 16 years old. You know, she, wow. when, when my wife and I were first together, Gwyneth was living in my guest bedroom trying to get an agent. So I'm going to be able to talk to people. That's a, a crazy way. story. Yeah, yeah. And, but, but that's just the beginning. You know, whether it's Alec Baldwin and the time he tried to get me sober on the beach when I was at the height of my crazy partying or, you know, whether it's Magic Johnson and, you know, the reminiscing about the fact that Pat Riley banned me from staying at the same hotel as the Lakers. I mean, I, it's been 40 years of doing this. Yeah. And, you know, I get Mike Myers on or I, I get Chris Pratt on and we're going to have a connection and a history that no one else is going to have. So. We've had you break down their walls because a lot of people get reserved, you know, or they get kind of like calculated because they're like, am I supposed to say this or not supposed to say this? And there's that kinship, that friendship that I think is really important that your your podcast is going to bring out a side of people we haven't really seen. But speaking of, you know, all, all those times, um, wasn't there a story also about you and Tom Cruise spending the night together in a stranger's house? Because I need to know more about that. Yeah, well, the way you say it makes it more interesting and almost... Yeah. It almost an even better story. <laughs> but I want, with just that headline and no context, I'm imagining such. I, I have gone to so many places and I've been to any of them. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, for sure. Um, so no, so what happened was when we were doing The Outsiders, um, we we're, were 18 and 19 years old. It's Francis Ford Coppola, the director, mm -hmm. who, you know, directed The Godfather and Apocalypse Now and the most intense kind of, director imaginable and and he he in his effort to make us more authentic as greasers as sort of tough tulsa sort of you know wrong side of the tracks guys found a a, a bunch of different actual greasers who are now grown up adults and made us go spend the night and live with them they came to us at rehearsal and like, okay, so we're going to divide you up. Rob, Tom, you guys are going to go stay with um, Bill and Sandy, whoever. And we just went to this, to their little house and had dinner and. Oh my gosh, this could have gone very Dateline special though. Like, you know, these oh. are. <laughs> well, Tom and I ended up in the basement in, in two cots and we're like, we, we don't know these people. I mean, yeah. who vetted them? Really, yeah. in all seriousness, do you think Francis Ford Coppola spent a lot of time vetting these people? I, I can tell you, he didn't. He was with an espresso uh -huh. and watching some fancy Fellini movie, and he went, yeah, yeah, that sounds great, and went back to his espresso. And, and meanwhile, um, you had to live it. Yeah. He there at 2 o'clock in the morning in their basement. That's amazing. It's an awesome story. I will listen to your podcast for this, this story alone. Um, so Because it's scary, and I would have been like, I'm out. <laughs> Subscribe to my channel. Subscribe to my channel. Subscribe to my channel. Subscribe to my channel. Please don't make me keep going.